Hey everyone, welcome to Positive Game Haven, our little corner of the internet. I'm Crimson Plosh, and I want to say Happy Zelda Month to everyone. For those who are unaware, uh, Peanut Butter Gamer does this, or he started this tradition of playing Zelda games in November, and so some friends and I are going to continue that tradition, and I'm going to be playing the very first Legend of Zelda. So let's go and get started here. And I am, my objective is to get the best, or the second best armor in the game. Um, and get the second best weapon in the game. Uh, before I even go into the first dungeon. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. But my first thing I need to do is I need to get some money and I need to find some bombs. Okay. So I am playing this on the GameCube, and the last time I played this on this console, things did not go very well. The controls are a little clunky, but we make it work. Ooh, yeah, I'll take that fiber. Ah. Can I grab that? Nope, okay. Need the boomerang for that. So we'll see how well this turns out with, uh, trying to play with, uh, non-native controls for this game, I guess is the best way to call it. I don't even know if that's the right language. Ooh, yeah, I'll take that money. Ooh, I'll take even that. Yay! Money's good. Alright, these are the guys that I'm wanting to get my hands on here. Haha, <laughs> because they give me bombs. Or they can. Apparently they have a much better chance of dropping bombs than anyone else. So what I'm trying to do is I need to get um, all of the heart containers that I can get my hands on. And here's the first. And I need to um, get all the money I can get my hands on, too. Because it's a whop. I need um, a whopping 280 rupees in order to get the two items I'm looking for right now. So. It's no small amount of change here. And these guys are... Oh, hey, more bombs. These guys are not wanting to really drop money for me. That's unfortunate. Do the best that we can. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. I needs money. He wants to give me money. Ugh. Come on, give me something. Nope. All right, fine. Give me nothing. I didn't want it anyways. Hey guys. So these guys, you can't hit until they land. Hey, that's what I'm looking for. So once they stop moving, that means they have landed. And then you can attack them. Where are you coming out at? There you are. This was my very first introduction into Legend of Zelda when I was a kid. And I was not the best at playing it. I didn't really understand much of what I was doing. Which, I, I mean, that's kind of how it goes whenever you're picking up a new game anyways. But this was back when I was about... I don't know, five or six years old. Dude, are you gonna land? You gotta land sometime. Come on. Come on. Land for me. You better be worth it. Oh, you were not worth it. Oh, well. No. Get, get off those rocks. There you go. If you drop money, I can't pick them up if they're on the rocks. Unless they're like that. Then my sword can grab them. Or some such. 
All right, so here's my second one. Yay. And now I need money. I need lots of money. Okay. Eh. Eh, be nice. Thanks for the box. I'm gonna come in here. All right, so we are... Oh, you know what? I actually have what I need here. So we're gonna head up and grab our new sword since we're so close and I'm going the wrong way. That sounds about right. Durr. May as well make combat a little easier. In order to get the white sword, that's still the wrong way. You need to have at least five hearts. And since I started out with uh, five and I've already picked up two, that means, hey, guess what? I have what I need. Oh, this is still the wrong way. But I'll come grab this while I'm here. Show this to the old woman. All right, I could do that. It has been a long while since I played this game, so... Yeah, you're probably gonna see me floundering around a little bit, trying to remember everything I need to do. Uh, yeah. uh. Yeah. I don't even know what these guys are called. I'm gonna call them annoying. That sounds about right. You guys would be less annoying if you dropped me money. What is that, asking too much? Oh, you turd. Eh. Alright, fly away, fairy. I don't care about you. I didn't want you anyways. Um, yeah, so I'm not... Here we go. This is where I want to be. Um, hi. The very first Lionel I meet in the game. These guys are so fun, aren't they? Well, at least he gave me money. Master using it, and you can have this! Hmm. I already have the second best weapon in the game. Because there's only three weapons. <laughs> well, three swords. We've got the second best sword in the game. You guys didn't give me money. I probably wouldn't mess around with you. Oh. No, no, no. As you can see, uh, I'm not the best at this game. Run away! Run away! Take on the um, war cry of Monty Python. <laughs> no. Ah. Okay, no. Oh, here, there we go. Alright, well, I guess we'll call that a death warp. <laughs> guess that gets me closer to where I need to be. Alright, I'm not used to hitting start in order to progress in these menus. I'm used to hitting A. Alright. Got this one. It's a secret to everybody. I'm probably going to change his voice every single time I say it. Actually, I think I know what I'm going to do next time and I'm going to stick with it. I promise you that. Alright. Guys, give me money? No, but you gave me hearts. Okay. So we're going to come into this shop. Grab myself the candle. Yay. Now that I have me my candle, we are going to head over this way. It's actually kind of interesting when I think about it. In this game, they introduced the 
concept of stronger enemies being a blue tint, but you have two different candles. The first one that you get is the blue candle, and the second one that you get is the red candle. It's a secret to everybody. Uh, and it's opposite of the enemy progression. All right. That's just a sh uh, that, 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 that's just a shop. Nope, that's the wrong one. Which one is it? The unfortunate thing about the the blue candle is you can only use it once. Did I just burn the same one again? You can only use it once per screen. There we go. That's what I wanted. And I will take the heart. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Now that I've got the white sword, these guys only... Well, the, the red enemies only take one hit. It's a secret to everybody. Art, 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 art. You little fireball chucking... Dude! Play nice, would ya? Oh, that was the wrong one. Or maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe there isn't one here. Eh, nope, there isn't one here. Ugh. Too far away. I can game, I swear. Oh, I could have swore that was one. Nope, oh, uh, uh, I know exactly what I'm doing here. Dude, you guys play nice. It's a secret to everybody. All right, now we are on a hunt for money. I have, I guess I've been on a hunt for money for a while now, but I have picked up all of the heart containers I can pick up right now in the overworld. I guess those guys are Zoras. I, I never really consider them Zoras, because they always look like some kind of weird machine to me, not really a sea monster. But I guess they technically are the first ever Zoras. So I'm still going to kill these guys in the hopes that they will drop some money and get stuck by the river and therefore make things more difficult. And since I am here, I have the letter. Let's go and pull this out. Buy medicine before you go! No, because I need my money for something else. I'm sorry! And we are... Gonna make some friends over here. Because if there's one thing I'm really good at in Legend of Zelda, it's making friends. Oh, nice. More bombs! Yay! And, oh, let's pull out my candle, because I want... What's in here? I guess I'll stop doing that voice. Yes, it's a secret to everybody. Gets me so close. Oh, you put me over there. Right. I guess you do that, don't you? I knew that. I knew that. I swear I did. Now we're gonna come back, go over this way. Try not to make too many friends chucking arrows at me. And I guess I'll stop you guys there. Halt! Okay, whoa. Arrow lag! Hey! You gave me bombs, too. That was very sweet of you. Ah, no, come on. More bombs. I suppose... 
No, that wasn't it. I could have swore it was over here. I'm being smart. What's in here again? Pay me and I'll talk. Uh, no thanks. Alright, I'm certain there's something over here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I know what I'm doing here. Um, and I don't think I can hold any more money. I think 255 is the max they'll let you hold. You guys in your pot shots. Hey, we're making good progress here. I'll just... Okay. Oh, that's not where I want to go. We will eventually go there. Dudes! Dudes! Quit it. Leave me alone. Blocking my every move. How rude. Okay, yep, that confirms it. 255 is my max. Yeah. Stop getting stuck, Link. Come on. Um. You gents just hang out over there. Boy, this is really expensive. Yes, I know, but it's worth it. All right, and I have the blue armor. Blue bracelet. So with that, I guess we are going to head over to the very first dungeon. Yay! Game progression! Not just running around doing all sorts of random stuff. But as you guys can see, it is possible to get into the very first dungeon and be more of a beast than at the start of the game. Growing up, we always did the first dungeon first. I guess that's why it's called the first dungeon. Or we do level one first, and then we end up finding out that, oh, hey, you know what? There's a lot more that you can do before you even head into the first dungeon. So Link is gonna go do a little dragon hunting and grab some more Hearts and money while I'm at it. Alright, I'll just leave you guys alone. A. Hey. Level one. Wow. I'm, I'm already trying to think of what it is that I need to do in here because it's been so long. This is supposed to, Oh, okay, don't walk into your own fire. That's That's bad news. But, first one, eh, it's, it's easy. Oh, right, that door was locked. I wasn't even paying attention to that. So, yeah. With the white sword, these guys are chumps. I'll take that heart. Thank you. Sword beams are nice in this game. They are very nice. I'll take that. And you gave me nothing. Oh, joy. Oh, hey, money. Yeah. So, a lot of people... I, I even want to say that when I first... When I first played this... So, the compass tells you where the Triforce piece is. I guess I haven't even explained that. I'll, I'll, okay. One story, then the other. Let's not get distracted here. But some people, I don't remember growing up and seeing that you could get a heart container or buy medicine. And I can remember buying medicine at first because it's like, you know, it gives me an extra heart or it completely restores my health. Which one's more beneficial? And then we found out how to, uh, what do you got to say here? Eastmost Peninsula is the secret. Okay, thank you. 
But then we discovered that if you found that letter and gave it to the old woman, then you could buy all the potions you could ever want. So, it kind of made it... Hey, I'm in a lamp! It made it so you didn't have to... Uh, or you, you could just increase your health because you were going to find what you needed in order to restore your health later on. Bellas? Yeah, don't walk right into them. Crimson, we, we, can, we can do this. But I guess I didn't even say in the beginning, for those who have not played this game before, the whole point is the Triforce has been broken, and so we have to collect all the Triforce pieces in order to assemble it. And I just picked up the bow, which is a handy weapon. The downside to it is it uses your rupees. I do not have an arrow counter, so it uses rupees in order to fire arrows. Joy. And we have... Is this the blue boomers? Nope. <sighs> I wish I'd quit walking right into these guys. No, nope. turn. Turn and face the right way. There we go. I know you can do this. Boomerang! Yay, I can collect things at a distance now. It's so exciting. And there's the wall masters. Those guys will still continue to take you to the start of the level. Hey, buddy. I guess I gotta hit you in the head. Or neck. Three hits. So the white sword deals double damage compared to, like, I guess the wood sword would deal, like, two points of damage or one point of damage, the white sword deals too, so it's double. So that fight with the dragon was significantly shorter than it was intended to be. <laughs> All right, I am so sick of your fireball, Sora. I didn't even like him in A Link to the Past. So, in true Legend of Zelda fashion, the boomerang stuns. But it can also pick things up. It's nice. It's nice that way. some secrets that you can find, like, as I've been showing with the, uh, finding rupees, but there's a lot of them where they steal your rupees, because you damage their door, so therefore you need to pay for the damages, and it kind of sucks. But I guess it makes sense. But who would... Who would want to live in a cave that you need a bomb in order to open the door? And, okay, that was an interest. I wasn't even facing that guy and I still got him. I don't know exactly how that works. Ah. Eh. Uh. Controls! What's in here? It's a shop. Oh, I need to buy the arrows first. Duh. Yeah, so that would be smart to remember that I can't even use my bow right now because I don't even have the arrows. Hey, I'll take that. Thank you. And get back to my candle. So we're going to head over to Dungeon 2. 
See if we can complete two dungeons. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Your base shield actually does a pretty good job of blocking stuff. The... Oh, going the wrong way. The unfortunate thing is that it does require you to not be attacking anyone. Found another secret. Don't tell anyone. Thank you. It's like Ganon's forces, some of them are wanting to help me. Because that makes perfect logical sense, doesn't it? Ow. Some of those guys can really move fast. Yep, it's another secret to everybody. We we got it. Oop, okay. Eh. Ugh, no! Ah! I'm being attacked! They're hurting! Oh, I thought it was gonna be the hopper guys over here. I don't even know what those enemies are called. I just know I'm not a fan of them. Alright, let's get my boomerang back out because you guys... Oh! I just remembered a really funny thing. So, my oldest brother tormented my twin brother this one time while he was... Right, I forget these guys charge at you. While he was playing this, um, my twin brother had taken a break from playing the game. And so my eldest brother was doing this, walking into the next room, and then that, walk into the next room, just back and forth, back and forth. And he just turns to my brother, and he's like, look, I'm using up all your boomerangs! Really upset my twin brother. He's like, stop using my boomerangs! Not even realizing that, oh, the boomerangs don't actually disappear. <laughs> you have an unlimited number of uses of your boomerang. Don't you just love siblings? And in here, more snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? I know, that's a really dated reference. Very dated reference. I'm sure there's some secrets that I'm even missing in, in these. It has been so long. Hi, guys. Oh! Right, so... I seem to have killed, like, the one... That was, like, the boss, and therefore they all died? I forget that can happen sometimes. Whoa, okay. That wasn't exactly how I wanted to throw that. Fellas. sentient fireballs. And I just swing my sword at him and it takes him out. Because that makes sense. You gotta love these games where you get too many sprites on the screen and it just lags. Oh, sweet. This is one of the most OP items in the game. Trying to tell me something? Like I'm gonna need to use bombs to take out a Dodonga? Dodong Dodongo? Dodonga? What are you called again? <laughs> I forget. Alright, two bombs, that's it. Wait a minute. Was that the boss? That was the boss. <laughs> I suppose I should unlock some of these doors I've been walking by. Wow, I just beelined it straight to him. No wonder they gave me bombs right before. Oh, let's... Nope, alright, nothing there. There is still an item to be found in here. I want the item. Don't walk into a slime link, it hurts. It really hurts. Dodongo. Dislike smoke. AKA, bomb him in the face. Oh, hey, yep, there we go. It's 
like they're telling you to use bombs in this dungeon. Ow. Alright. I'm like completely bypassing keys. It's great. Oh. <laughs> um. Well, that worked. Hey, I've got the blue boomerang now. Or the magic boomerang. I still... <laughs> my map or my compass? Where are those hiding? <laughs> um. Oh, I guess I've. I have a room here. Oh, hey, they gave me bombs. Nice. Hey, there's my map. <laughs> okay, now I know where I'm going. Though, it's interesting, since you only, or since you get technically two items in the first dungeon, because uh, you get the, the base boomerang, and have I, I have technically been everywhere. Uh, you get the base boomerang and the bow in the first dungeon. They don't have, like, a designated treasure room in this one, and the item that you get is the blue boomerang. Because... Why not? Nothing special in here. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to kill you guys again. And stop y'all. Stop all ya! Ah! Alright, come on. There we go. And there's where we took out Dodongo. And we're gonna grab our second Triforce piece. Alright, we're doing a great job. But I think that's where we're gonna end this video. We are going to pick up uh, in the next one, heading on to Dungeon 3. And I'm not really intending this to be a speed run, but I mean, we're making some good progress. But we've only completed the two easy dungeons so far. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Again, happy Zelda month, and we will see you guys in the next video. But until then, God bless and live strong for today.